Hi, I'm Graham Green, the General Manager and PGA Professional at the Leaderboard Golf Centre in Reading. And today I'm going to do a product review for Ping's latest offering to the market, the Ping Answer Driver. Now this is Ping's first adjustable driver to the marketplace. And a lot of you may think that they're quite late in offering this, considering the likes of Callaway and TaylorMade have had theirs on the market now for several years. But Ping are never one to put something out with any compromise. They're not into gimmicks, they're into performance. So you know when Ping release something, it's going to be good. So let's talk about what separates this adjustable driver from the rest on the market. First of all, the unique part about this is the size of the hosel. Ping have been really keen to keep the diameter size, the mass and the aerodynamics of their hosel design exactly the same as a standard traditional driver. Also with a lot of drivers when they've got adjustability, once you start to increase the loft of the club or decrease the loft of the club, you also in turn close the club face or open the club face. Again, Ping have really minimized the effect of that with this latest offering in their adjustability answer driver. Now the answer driver can be adjusted by only half a degree by plus or minus the half degree. Um, a lot of you may not think that's a lot, but it's enough just to fine tune the ball flight trajectory that you desire. Now along with four different shaft options that Ping have, you really can fine tune the ball flight trajectory that you want. The lofts in the club that come as standard are eight and a half degrees, nine and a half degrees, 10 and a half degrees, and 12 degrees. And remember, plus or minus half a degree either side, plus the different shaft options will give you the perfect ball trajectory for your game. Now let's talk about the head construction. It's a standard 460cc um, size head, so maximum legal um, capacity there in terms of head size. Um, you'll note it's got the beautiful jet black finish, um, the same as the latest i20 driver. It's a really nice stealth look, very simple looking. Again, you'll notice there's no thrills or spills on the bottom like a lot of other manufacturers for shelf appeal. This club is pretty much jet black. It's all about performance. Again, the club head is designed to offer maximum low spin. So again, you'll have to try different lofts to get the perfect ball trajectory for your game, but it is a very low spinning head. So you do need to perhaps go up in loft in the actual uh, driver head, plus look at the shaft options. So altogether, for me, it looks absolutely delightful. Um, it looks like a ping product. Um, you know, it looks very classic. Um, but I'm going to go over to the driving range now. I'm going to have a little play about with it again today. I've had a really good test with it this week. And I'm going to come back and give you guys my kind of overall feedback and feeling uh, towards the product. Big feedback I'd like to say is definitely for me, I've gone up quite a lot in loft to what I'm used to. I'd normally use somewhere between a nine and a half and 10 degree driver. In this very low spinning model, I've gone right up to the 12 degree standard head to give me the optimum ball flight. Um, I've tested all the different shafts. Um, I absolutely love the Fujikura Blur and the importance of mixing the shaft, the head, and then the adjustability is really key to getting this club to work to its, its absolute optimum. Lovely in terms of its look, its feel when you stand to the ball. Um, so we're just gonna give you an overall indication of how personally I feel this club was. We're gonna do it a little bit different today. We're gonna to give it some ratings for some different aspects, and we'll start off by the look. So for me, um, classic ping looking driver, love the stealth look. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. I really do like the way this club sits, looks um, at a dress. The next thing we're gonna look at is forgiveness. And surprisingly, um, for something that's so techn technologically advanced, 
Um, I really thought that this would be probably not that forgiving, but it really is. I hit quite a few out of the neck today, and there was a, barely a difference in the ball flight. Slightly left of target, but it didn't really um, fade or slice back. It stayed pretty straight. Um, so forgiveness, it's going to be a really good one, this club, for higher handicappers. Um, so, yeah, I give it a good probably 8 out of 10 for forgiveness. In terms of feel, again, it's a lot down to the shaft that you have in there, but when you get that right, the feel is superb. This shaft for me, the blur one, was immaculate. Um, very solid feel, but also a nice crisp, crisp sound to the strike. Um, so I would rate that, again, with the right option in there, 10 out of 10. In terms of adjustability, some of you may argue there isn't enough going on, we can't change enough things, closing the face, giving it more loft, less loft. Um, I don't think that's a big factor personally. Again, I think once you get the shaft right and once you've got the head um, loft that you want, having half a degree of alteration from there is plenty. So again, adjustability, okay, it isn't massive, but I would give that eight out of 10. And in terms of overall performance for me, it's got to be a nine out of 10, really, really good product. It's not um, a product aimed at your better player, although it will suit them. This is a club for anybody, and uh, I urge you to come down and have a go with it.